Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to talk about 3D printing. Alright, this is the long overdue 3D printing uh, video that I talked about a couple weeks ago. Um, as you can tell, I'm still a little under the weather, but uh, I'm making it, I'm, I'm getting by. I'm, you know, so we've got this 3D printer. Uh, I still don't know who sent it, but um, thank you guys to whoever did. And apparently, um, everybody's walking by and doing stuff. This is my very messy office at home. Um, but uh, again, I'm just getting up and, and at them again. So uh, uh, thanks, guys, for, for hanging in there. And um, we'll take a look a little a bit about the uh, the printer itself. Now, what I'd recommend, uh, if you are new to 3D printing or you know, things like that, there's a ton of great resources out there. Um, uh, my friend Patrick actually has this exact same printer, and he's doing a series right now about doing the build, you know, how he puts it together, the way that he um, tunes it, his the parameters that he uses, um, and it makes a big difference. Uh, parameters, I, I was I was a little surprised. Um, I guess I shouldn't have been because it's an awful lot like uh, knowing the right speeds and feeds for uh, for milling or for, for lathe work or anything else that we do. So, um, I'll tell you what, what I did was I made, and I was doing this video, and I apologize, it's been a couple of weeks now from the time that I shot the footage, but I was doing this video around the time that the, uh, the fusion cam challenge was coming out, right? so this guy, I don't know how well it's focusing on it, but, right, everybody was making these, these things, and I thought, you know, wouldn't it be fun just to 3D print one? Um, well, I printed it, and I didn't like it, I didn't like the way it came out at all. And so I decided, all right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of different settings and do some adjustments and see if we can get, get everything dialed in. So let's take a look at, um, at what this looked like. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can do this. I'm going to try and get uh, like you know, four, four videos going at the same time. But effectively, we'll have uh, different thicknesses. Uh, so different, effectively the same thing as, say, depth of cut, right? Um, so different thicknesses will go from 0.06 to 0.1 millimeter to 0.2 millimeters all the way up. To, I think I did one at 0.3 millimeters. So I have to go back and look again, or 0.25. I think I'm up to. Um, and then I, the other thing that I adjusted was speed, and then lastly was um, I, the bed itself. So and some adjustments to the bed. So let's take a look at those videos. All right, and here's the results. And so, um, I'm not sure how well you can see uh, on this. And I can zoom in and out a little bit, but I think I'll just do some manual work with this one. The very first one I did. This is the point. You know, this is the, uh, and I was using Cura uh, version 15, and um, this was their defaults for the fine setting, right? And as you can see at the top, see how it, it got this really funky looking uh, blob there at the top. So. 
while I got decent finish, you know, overall, 0.06 left that top kind of, you know, a little off. Um, so then I, I went up to 0.1, and 0.1 did, you know, pretty well, and, I, and a little bit less at the top, but then I started getting more scalloping, you, you can see that, right? Uh, I went to 0.15, made some changes there. And again, still starting, you know, seeing the scalloping, but less and less at the top. So now I'm, um, I went to point two, and let's see if we can get that to focus here. There's point two. Um, it's the first time where at the top I didn't really get anything at that point where, um, where it was uh, losing some of the the clarity of it. Um, I even did one. Here's at point two five. Right, and then um, I did one at point three, and point three I actually had to um, I had to step up the uh, the speed because I had to go to 122 percent because it just was you know, turning into a blob. Um, and I, I did all of these directly on the the glass the borosilicate uh, glass bed. Um, what I realized as I did this is I got the right speeds down and 20, 25 was okay. I've been doing a lot of my stuff at 40 at this point, but, um, but 25 was, was good for my nice fine, um, quality. Uh, what I noticed though with all this is that I had my Z setting wrong, right? And so the best one to look at that is probably the one where it was 0.3 and I don't know if it'll focus on there or not, but you see how it's like squished it way out? That's because it was too close to the, the bed. I didn't have the heights right. So once I got the height dialed in right and got the bed leveled properly and got my, my Z0 done right, I did another one. This is 0.2 um, uh, for the, the thickness, right? but this is at 40 millimeters per second as opposed to the 25. So if we look at 0.2, okay, here we go. So 0.2. The, this one is 0 0.2 at 25, this one is 0 0.2 at 40. You don't see any difference at all in the quality, but it was significantly faster. But you'll notice I have got a little bit of a brim here. I was still doing this one directly on the bed. And um, what I noticed is I started to get a little bit of uh, curling because it wasn't, it wasn't adhering uh, to the, the bed as well as I'd like. Um, that's something that PLA, that the, the type of plastic is is known for, and so switching to a um, switching to just using the blue painters tape, I got really good adhesion. I had gotten the bed dialed in, so my heights were good. I wasn't getting all that funky push out at the bottom, and uh, you know a point two, um, point one or point two uh, flow at, at forty millimeters per second. Um, I know point flow wasn't the right word for it. Um, point two layer height. There we go. Um, I have depth of cut stuck in my head. Was fine. Um, so let's let's come back out and let's let's wrap this one up. This is an awful lot of talking. All right. That's. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing my voice again, guys. Sorry. Whatever I caught this this uh, this week has just kicked my butt, and I've been I've been down for the whole week, so I haven't got much done. But uh, as you can tell, uh, I had a little bit of fun with the, the printer. I've, I've been doing a bunch of printing. I've got several different. It's, it's, it's you know what, three D printing is it's its own you know feeding the monster just like any other machining thing. I've I've now got you know spools of different colors and materials and all this stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so I know I didn't go into a whole lot here as far as um, speeds and settings and things like that go. Like I said. Check out Patrick's site. I put a, I'll put a card up for uh, for him. Uh, for my my patrons, um, we'll have another update and a tour uh, soon. Um, you know that that should happen by the time this gets posted. Hopefully, I'll be well enough to, to start doing some of the, the stuff that we talked about. Um, if you did, weren't aware, I do have a Patreon site, and um, for Patreon. Uh, I keep it different. I, I don't do the same the same kind of content there. Uh, I do some early release videos where they get to see the videos first, but mostly um, my Patreon site is there about uh, 
I'll talk about you know my journey in this world of um, you know owning your own business, you know, starting, growing, you know, running your own your own business, and um, you know, so it's basically a way for me to connect with people and. Um, you know, people get direct insight into what's going on in the shop, um, so they get some sneak peeks and, and things before everybody else does, uh, before anybody else hears about it. So, uh, if you're interested in that, uh, yeah, check it out. Um, but anyways, I just want to say thanks to everybody for uh, for being so supportive, hanging in there, and all the well wishes I got on my you know whiny little sorry I'm sick video. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. All right, let's see if this made a difference. Adjusting that height made a difference on how easy it is to get these pieces off. So that's been my biggest challenge. And part of the reason why, oh look at that. I haven't been using the tape method. Sorry, I'm all out of breath. I just put Nika's desk upstairs. Well, look at that. It came right off. And it's good and flat. We got fairly nice detail and nice, smooth, crisp edges. So I think one of the, un, uh, the unplanned benefits for these tests was that. Uh, I got the machine dialed in better.